Всем привет! I'm glad to see you on my channel today and we have another minimalism video here. Uh, I haven't been filming this type of videos for quite a while but my youngest daughter is almost 10 months old and lately I've been thinking um, about the things I've been using with her, about things I've did differently with her. So here I am I'm going to talk about baby essentials, things that I've been using for babies for both children and things that I'm going to use if we'll have more children in the future. And I decided to film this video because all the videos I've seen on this topic, even from a minimalist perspective, were just... there were too many non-essential items in my opinion. So yeah, I'm very basic when it comes to babies. I like to have as small amount of things as possible. I like to use things in multiple ways. I like to things to be lightweight, easy to use and just yeah, I don't like to have too much stuff for kids. So with both children, I was barely buying anything. I had we had a lot of hand-me-downs. Um my husband crafted our baby bed this time. So like, we've been very minimal when it comes to babies. Let's talk about the things I've been using. Uh, the order is kind of random, but the first thing I think I thought about was that um, cloth, cloth thing. It's leak-proof from one side, it's uh, soft material from the other side. You can wash it, it's very lightweight, and it's easy to fold it and put it in the bag. I'm using this thing for changing the diapers, and I use this thing everywhere. With the first child we had a changing table, but I really thought while using it, I thought that it was not that necessary for me because the child outgrew it at I think like five months old. We stopped using this table and it was taking so much space. We lived in a tiny apartment. So this time I thought that I'm not going to purchase a table. I'm going to purchase just this thing so I can change the baby on the couch, on the floor, on the bed. It's not that easy on my back, but it's kind of fast and, and easy just in general. So I like it. Uh, I've been using that for the car, for changing when we go to another place, like when we go to visit somebody. Um, it's very easy, you fold it, you put it in a bag with all the diapers you need and that's it. Just the cheapest thing you can find. There are many like fancy ones that fold properly, that have some clips and, and stuff, but I was just using this, it works perfectly fine. Next thing I, I thought about is the nasal aspirator. It's the grossest thing in the world, so I'm not going to uh, talk about how to use it. You can read the instructions. Um, but it saved me several times when my kids had a runny nose and it worked perfectly well. I didn't like the pumping one because it didn't work for me. But this one, the, this, this specific one, is just what I was using both times. When it comes to baby's clothes, um, I'm also very basic, everybody needs clothes, but uh, I buy first, I buy things that match with each other, I buy this the simplest outfits that I know will be comfortable for my baby. I don't buy anything that has a potential to be uncomfortable, like baby jeans or dresses or anything with like fancy details. I just buy basic stuff like, I buy a lot of onesies. I just I took it with me. I buy onesies with short sleeve. I buy onesies with long sleeves, and I mostly buy white one onesies. Maybe it's not the easiest color to work with, but I like white. It goes with everything, and I just I don't know. There is something about babies in in just white beige light colors. I kind of like it. So white onesies. I have. I, I buy like light beige, light pink, I have girls, so, uh, pants, and like, I buy these type of pants only, the kind of like pajama pants, they're so comfortable for babies, and just for everybody, I would wear them too. I have like a sweater for her, I think I have two sweaters for her, I also have socks, I have, buy matching socks, guys, just buy white socks, <laughs> because if you buy socks that have different colors, you end up just having different colored socks because I lose them all the time. I don't know what babies do to them. I also have two costumes, or well, had two costumes for her. One, the very thick one for winter with covered uh, hands and feet. And one uh, 
thinner one for spring and autumn, also with the covered hands and feet. This is very important. And also uh, with pants, I personally, I hate the ones that have socks on them, like the, the proper leg size, because first kids outgrew this so fast. And second, for some reason, my kids were moving all the time and all the time they were kind of, their pants were going down all the time because they were moving and these socks kind of were moving to, I don't know how to explain it even. But the firstborn, I had this uh, hand covers, but they didn't work well. She was taking them off all the time. So I was using socks, uh, longer socks. I was just putting them on her arm, on her hand, and she couldn't, she couldn't take them off and she was not scratching her, so that kind of worked. I had three beanies, uh, one a very thin one for newborns. I was using it in the hospital and outside if it was a little bit cooler weather. Um, and then I had a proper beanie for like autumn. Uh, it's kind of medium thickness. And I had a very thick one for winter, like a proper hat beanie, <laughs> like thick one. These types of clothes I use all the time. I like nothing, nothing else, uh, nothing special. I'm using disposable diapers. I've been using clothes diapers for my firstborn at home. Outside we've been using disposable ones, clothes diapers at home, but clothes diapers that I had were very cheap ones, I think. Um, I couldn't find any clothes diapers in Russia at that point uh, when I was pregnant with my firstborn. There were literally no brands, nothing. And buying from abroad, like from the USA, or from Europe, or Australia was so expensive comparing to Russian salaries. It was just, it, it made no sense to buy them. So I found cheap ones on the Chinese website <laughs> and I ordered them and I was using them a lot with my firstborn, but I, did, I didn't really like them because they were leaking all the time um, and they were smelling not really well, uh, just, most of the time, like right after wash, they smell nice, but as soon as the baby starts wearing them, they kind of start smell gross. So I didn't really like them, but I kept them because I planned to use them with my second born as well. But my second child has such a strong irritation with these diapers. I don't know why, like she doesn't have any allergies or any irritations when it comes to disposable diapers. But with clothes diapers, I was like, I put a diaper in her and like in an hour she has an irritation, her skin didn't breathe properly. Like it was so, yeah, it didn't work well. So I got rid of them. Um, maybe if I could buy better type of clothes diapers, I would use them if there will be no irritation, nothing like that. So she's 10 months old now, so I don't feel that it would be a responsible decision to buy clothes diapers now, financially, I mean. So I kind of, I kind of <laughs> gave up on that, but I would really love to use some good, nice quality ones because with the first child, I kind of like that we had them. We didn't use that many disposable ones. When it comes to sleeping, uh, the thing that worked perfectly for us is the side bed, uh, the bed that doesn't have one wall <laughs> and you can attach it to your bed. So it's kind of like a side bed. Uh, with the firstborn, we had uh, a proper, like separate baby creep. Um, it didn't really work well because for the first five months while I was trying to put her to sleep there all the time, I was so exhausted. I was waking up several times a night. I was feeding her. I was trying to get back to sleep. Like I was so tired, but I don't really like when babies in our bed. So especially for the newborns, I would not do that. I like when they're kind of separate, but close to me so I can feed them. So side bed worked perfectly for us. I told my husband that this time I want a side bed. Uh, he built it himself and I'm very proud of him. Another thing that I liked a lot and we've been using so much is the baby carrier. And um, it's for a little bit older babies when they can sit properly from about like seven months old. But I've been using it so much. We had it as a hand-me-down from our friends. The only thing I don't like about this baby carry is that it only, it, you can carry baby from one side only, like the baby facing toward you on your, like at your front. Um, I'd love to have a carrier that a lot would allow me to carry a baby on my back and also to carry a baby front faced um, with the baby's back like on me. 
Um, I think it would give us kind of more options, but other than that, I love the, the carrier. It's just, yeah, it's the perfect thing. I personally, I hate strollers. <laughs> uh, I just don't like them. So with the first one, we had uh, a baby stroller, that giant thing where you can put a baby to sleep. And it kind of works well, but we lived in Russia. Russian streets are not really, especially in regional cities, not like in Moscow or St. Petersburg, but in smaller cities, the streets are not really good for strollers or wheelchairs or anything like that. There are stairs everywhere. The building entrance has stairs, the tiny elevator. Um, they're like, the pedestrian sides are kind of like crumpy and there are like holes and, and cars parked and just, just not comfortable at all to go somewhere with a stroller, especially like you won't leave your child alone outside if you want to go to the store and buy something, you'll have to get the stroller and like go up on the stairs, go go inside and the stroller, the stroller is big, the doors are small, like it's not comfortable to use it. With the second child, I told my husband like no strollers for the baby stage, no, no, these big giant things. Um, and I decided to try a baby wrap, like this, this thing where you wrap it around yourself and you put a baby inside. I've seen people love this and I hated it, honestly. Like I hated it. You have to, you have to wrap it around yourself. It's so uncomfortable. Like, yeah, I just didn't like it. I've been using it because I didn't have any other options. <laughs> but I, I was looking forward to the day when my baby will sit and I can put her in a proper baby carrier and not have to wrap this thing around me again. But we've been using smaller strollers for the older child uh, when the babies can sit and like the strollers are much lighter and smaller. And we've been using this, these things from time to time, but less than a baby carrier. The car seat is obviously an essential thing. There are some car seats that can attach to the stroller. So I think it might be kind of convenient if you have a baby car seat, you can put it to the stroller and use it instead of this just giant bulky thing. Maybe that would be nice. Then we have this giant plastic bathtub that looks like a duck. And <laughs> we didn't have a need in anything like that for the firstborn because we had a big sink uh, in the bathroom where we've been washing her when she was tiny. And then we had the bathtub, the proper bathtub where we've been bathing her when she was a little bit bigger. But here in Georgia, everywhere uh, we've been living, they had no bathtubs. So we had to be creative and we bought this plastic giant bathtub. It's so inconvenient to have it. It's, it takes so much space, but I mean, we have, we have to have something <laughs> to bathe our kids, for our toddler to, to bathe and play, uh, for our smaller one to just to wash her. So the plastic thing, if you don't have a bathtub, works fine. But yeah, I would have a bathtub instead. High chairs. We've been using both times the simplest, cheapest IKEA chair. Um, I the first time we bought it second hand, so it was kind of free for us because we bought it second hand and then I sold it uh, several months later, and boom, free chair. <laughs> and then when our firstborn became a little bigger, we bought her a high chair, but a different one. It was kind of more expensive and it was an investment. Um, it's like a wooden chair made by a small brand. It's very beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's, it's for the older, older stage when the kid can climb down, climb up by herself and use it as a regular chair. It's also, you can regulate, uh, the height. So yeah, we thought that it would be nice when it comes to bathing and just all the like chemicals and cosmetics and stuff. I had only three things both times. So I had two creams and one baby shampoo and that's it. Brands don't really matter. The first cream is just like a moisturizing cream. Our child, uh, the second child was born with very, very, very dry skin. So the, th the first thing I bought for her after I got out of um, the hospital, just on my way home, I bought her a proper nice 
um, moisturizing cream and it helped a lot. Medicine thing, I bought it in the pharmacy. A cream for irritation, if she has any irritation after diapers. For example, when she was uh, just a newborn, she had that, you know, like squishy neck and um, she was getting red spots all the time because it was very hot outside and I was trying to wash it all the time but because it was you know like skin to skin all the time she was laying like that all the time um, she was getting a lot of irritation here and a lot of just red skin um, so I've been washing it with water and applying the cream against irritation so I have these two things and a baby shampoo and also uh, baby scissors baby scissors they're not that necessary but i like to use them more than adult scissors for cutting the nails so i think that's it that's everything i have for our baby except for the cute play mat of course for the crawling stage or when babies just lay on the floor on their tummy uh, when they learn how to crawl, when they learn how to sit. I forgot to mention it because I didn't prepare well enough <laughs> for this video. Um, some of these things we bought ourselves, some of these things were gifts, some of these things were hand-me-downs. So we are very minimal and very basic. And if I say that that's only things uh, I've been using for a child, I actually mean it. That's not the only things I've been using. Guys, if I say that, that I didn't use something, it doesn't mean that nobody should use it. If it's convenient for you, if you like it, just use what you like. Just figure out what you like using and use it. Um, I'm just sharing my experience because um, I know, because I was, I was a first time mom <laughs> back in the days. I know that pregnant women who are first time pregnant, first time moms, they're interested what other people use for their children. So that's why I'm filming this video to share my experience, what worked for me, what I find not necessary to use, not essential at all. It's also important because we all get overwhelmed by these promotions, all of these ads from other people like buy this and this and this, and you also can buy this. And here's my affiliate link, <laughs> you know, this stuff. Just a lot of the things are not really necessary. I was not using any diaper bags. I don't have any. I just, in general, I have only two bags. I have my shopper bag that I carry everywhere with me. Like, I'll show you. I'm using it all the time when I need to carry something somewhere. It's small and it's also very worn out. <laughs> I need to kind of fix it and, and wash it maybe. <laughs> well, I wash it all the time, but I just use it all the time as well. And this bag, this bag, like literally, I took it with all the stuff I need for myself, for two children, for a two-day trip. We went two hours on the bus in the morning, spent the day visiting our friends. I didn't go to any stores in their place, anywhere. Then we slept overnight. And then on the next day, we spent the day with them. And then in the evening, we came back. So this bag, like this size, you see, it's not that big, this size, it was enough for me to take everything I need, all the clothes changed for children, diapers, um, all the like accessories, clothes for me, for sleeping, for walking, uh, all the like teeth brushing, deodorant stuff like that, washing the face, just everything I needed for two days, I put into this bag. So that's why I tell you that I don't really see need for a diaper bag because if I need to take something for children, I just put it in the same bag, uh, the one that I take with me, with my stuff that I need to carry, like documents or just something. Oh, one thing, I forgot one thing that I also have for my baby. This thing, this is the um, toothbrush. So I am using toothbrush. I also think I didn't show you my baby scissors. They're kind of cute. I think that's it. I hope this video was helpful um, if you're expecting a baby or if you're thinking about babies <laughs> or if you're a mom already and just thinking about things you need, things you don't need. Um, I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!